Hello everybody, my name is Giza M. Tóth. I'm a Hungarian animation filmmaker and my film in this festival program is Matches, a short object animation film. The film Matches invites the viewer into the fantasy world of a seven-year-old boy who is playing with simple matchsticks. In the 11 minute long stop motion animation film, this ordinary object becomes the main character of the events. I got my own house. Ooh. I'm big, a real grown up. I got a big mirror with a cupboard in it. Whoosh. It's full of stuff. The film was inspired by a true story. A few years ago, I met a little boy in the street who played with some colored matchsticks. I remember that I, I looked upon him while he, without even noticing me, was lost in his play while creating exciting stories. That's when the idea for the film Matches was born. When I was small, I used to dream. When I was small, I used to dream a lot. First, I made an interview with a seven-year-old boy. Then, listening to his stories, I started playing matchsticks and experimented with the technique. The short film is built on this creative idea and tells the story in the simplest possible way by animate days, little, tiny, simple objects. That's the best if everybody does just what they want. The result was to visualize the child's thoughts, feelings and uh, engage the viewer in storytelling in the simplest possible way. The episode-like scenes are narrated by the boy himself who tries to understand the strange world of grown-ups. Moving along the child's imagination, the colorful matchsticks bring his visions to life. Grown-ups make up the rules. Kids just have to obey them. My task was to be able to visualize somehow a child's universe. There's feelings and there's endless imagination with a very basic and minimal animation technique. Some people want rules for everything, so everything will always be the same for everybody. If everybody had to be the same, that would be the worst in the whole world. Matches is kind of puzzle game, where the audience is invited to solve the meaning of the matchsticks. And uh, each puzzle assumes a quiz master in the background who creates these puzzles. My task was similar to this. I came up with this story and waited to be solved. I've been teaching for almost 30 years in uh, different art universities. And um, I find that uh, being as a teacher in this aspect is a bit similar to uh, the role of the quiz master as I have to prepare and develop students and help them discover the profession on their own while I am always one step uh, ahead of them. Encouraged by festival successes of this film, I made this decision to develop a longer series based on the similar idea. I'm also the scriptwriter and director and producer of our newest animation series called Mitch Match. My plan is to develop and produce now uh, 52 episodes as a first round. And uh, every each episode is uh, two and a half to three minutes long. It has no dialogue, but still it is very, very funny and uh, very easily understandable. So I hope deeply and honestly that uh, it is successfully distributable all over the world. Mitch Match is a humorous, non-dialogue, stop-motion animation series for family audience. The series is built on the creative partnership with the viewers and satisfies the eternal human puzzle-solving ones. 
I've prepared 52 scripts of funny stories that can be told with a very, very limited animation of a very ordinary object, some pieces of matchsticks. Mitch similarly guides the audience into an adventurous world of a blue-headed matchstick. This ordinary thing is the main character of Mitch Match series. The character embarks on a journey in every episode and always returns to the box at the end of a lot of strange, playful and imaginative adventures. Mitch Match takes advantage in the measure of the possibilities offered by the short film animation design. One plays with the objects, invents stories about it giving it a real personality. Moving along the imagination, the colorful matchsticks are transformed into situations, connections, sometimes they appear on the screen as figures, while at other times they transform into objects. With Mitch Match, the creators wanted to model the resourceful way of thinking, that everybody is able to see something more in a simple object. The series is built on this creative idea and tells stories in the simplest possible way by animate a tiny object, a matchstick. The creative partnership with the audience is very, very important in this series. Every episode is a matchstick puzzle where I have to pull the focus on the viewer's fantasy in every second. Each episode tells stories and each episode is a quiz with stories to be solved at the same time. My goal was for everyone to relieve the, uh, the, the eternal playful mood and to use their imagination. The production wanted to find a much easier, less speculative way to the audience. I decided to use the most basic animation technique I've ever used. I caught a piece of simple blue-headed matchstick as a main character of the whole series and focused on finding a minimum sign that can activate the viewer's imagination. In every moment we see matchsticks in an almost untouched shape, which only merge into a personal story in a context. There is another key point of the series. Neither of the episodes has titles, exactly for the reason to push the audience to find the answers by themselves. The audience has to find out the stories based on limited visuality. The less impulses they get visually, the more we try to give it a sound. There is no typical soundtrack in the episodes. Noises and sound effects are able to give the viewer a sure point of a view even without images. It's a kind of a radio play-like material from which we can figure out what each episode is about. The blue-headed matchstick is the protagonist of the film. Other colorful matchsticks appear on the screen as figures, animals, vehicles, furniture and other objects in front of varying colorful backgrounds. Mm -hmm. By replacing certain parts we can evoke situations, moves, gestures and feelings or turn into human figures, various living beings or into objects. In every moment we see a few of them. Mitch Match is a unique and a very easily identifiable brand value project. The pilot episodes of the series are already successful at major international film festivals. The professional and the public feedbacks are quite positive. We see high potential in this project because it can stimulate the audience inspiration, imagination, regardless age or culture. It can also satisfy the eternal human puzzle solving wants. The series also shows us the fun, attractiveness of stop motion animation. The production team used stop motion with real matchsticks because they wanted to find a much easier, less speculative way to the audience. Thank you for watching my video message. I wish you have great time and I hope see you soon.